Hi gorgeous, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ara. I am a 39 year old mother of five, beauty and fitness lover. My face is mostly done and that's because I'm gonna be doing this quick little overview of the new Fenty Beauty Hot Cheeks Blush Lighter and the new Gloss Bomb Oil. So for starters, I thought these were absolutely gorgeous. I love Fenty Beauty. I did not pick up the most recent highlighter, but this looks awesome. And there are three different shades. I picked up Fresh Peach. And in the Gloss Bomb Oil, I picked up Sugar Fine Sugar. I have actually worn this multiple times. I love it so far. I'm gonna try it with a lip liner by itself and also on top of a lipstick just to kind of see how it will feel. Feel? <laughs> I can't speak. I don't have a whole lot of time to do much of any filming currently. My kids are sick. It feels like we're just kind of perpetually sick all the time. I've been puked on already. Oh, I'm slightly disorganized, but this is how the package looks. I think it's very cute, very sleek. I love the shape of it. It's honestly just very elegant. And in actuality, I wanna compare it to the new Chantecaille blush. These both came out around the same time and they look kind of similar. I think the Fenty has a little bit more of a golden iridescence to it, but they have like that same, same vibe, but different. And this one is like $80 in absolutely cheap packaging. Whereas the Fenty one, I think that one's around 30 ish. I'll put the price on the screen, but far more elegant. I'm curious. So I'm going to do one on each cheek. I'm going to line my lips first with the Lisa Eldridge sculpt and shade. This is one C it's actually one of my favorite lip liners. Just really easy to use and I'm gonna smudge it out and try the gloss bomb by itself. That is about as good as I'm gonna get it. This thing is stunning. Sugar fine sugar, this is 90 mils of product. I have worn this to work a couple times and I loved it. It's super shimmery though, far more shimmery than a lot of the other glosses I have and it has it's a pleasant scent. It's not necessarily like overly scented, but you can tell it's fragranced. I like it with the lip liner. I haven't been wearing it with the lip liner to work. I've just been wearing it on its own. It feels super nourishing. It just feels so soft and it's so shimmery. The amount of shimmer doesn't bother me. I love oils. I don't really care for glosses. If you've been watching my channel for a little while, you know I'm not much of a, a gloss girl. I'm more of a matte lipstick girl, but I love oils and I can get down with that. There's not a whole bunch of sticky tackiness to it. I think I accidentally called this sugar fine sugar. It's actually super fine sugar. There are three different shades. This one I felt like was a little bit more wearable. I enjoyed it. So the times that I wore it, when I wore it to work, it wore really well. When I eat or drink, it wears away just like any gloss will. I mean, there's not a whole lot of longevity there. So if you're going into it expecting long longevity, change your expectations. But overall for comfort, if you're gonna wear this for a while, just to kind of get through your day, this feels amazing. It feels very nourishing. It's a nice glide. It doesn't feel slippery or heavy on my lips. It's probably my favorite oil that I have bought recently. I do have multiple oils from Blend Bunny that were my favorite but I actually like this one more. Cost-wise, it's quite a bit more expensive than Blend Bunny, but this one just feels amazing and it has just a little bit of extra slip to it that doesn't feel cakey. I think this one being a limited edition, you might end up seeing her launch an entire lineup of these. This one's a hit. I don't see this lip oil, balm oil, whatever it is, staying limited edition. I think this one is going to be so good that it, ends up being permanent, but I don't know. I'm just going off a hunch here. This is amazing. This is the product that I am most excited for. I'm a little intimidated because it looks really bright. It doesn't look like there's chunky glitter to it. It looks pretty finely milled as far as the shimmer goes. It is said to be a blush highlighter duo, soft, smooth gleam, my phone, I'm sorry. A soft, smooth gleam for a cheeky, peachy sheen. I haven't even swatched this yet, so let's see here. Ooh. Now, I know there are plenty of blushes that have this entire look to it, so honestly, it's not new or innovative at all, but it's Fenty, and if it's like the formula that just launched for the highlighter, 
I know that one was really well received. This might be the same formula. So if it is, I have high hopes, and if I like this, maybe I'll pick up that, that highlighter. And just for reference, there is 4.5 grams of product in here. I'm gonna put this one on my left cheek. This is a Danessa Myricks My Kit Co brush. This is the My 15. Got a little dog fur there. I'm gonna start slow and see if I can gently build it up. You can really see the shine with just that little tap. I'm a little nervous because I feel like it can be unflattering on me. I might end up just buffing it down a little bit, but I wanna build it up some to see if I can get that pink to come across a little bit more. Because in the mirror, I see more of the gold bouncing off of the light. See if I can bring it up high on my cheekbone since it's got more of that highlight effect. I'll buff this down, but I just want you to see how shiny this is. I definitely do not need any of the other two shades. What do we think? I think it's beautiful. Not the most flattering on my skin, mostly because I am just so fair. It probably would look a little better if it were more of a pink on pink sheen instead of a pink on peach but it's gorgeous. The formula feels very smooth, like a baked gelée. Like I can see more of that pink on my finger than on my cheek, so it could just be the lighting. Packaging wise though, 10 out of 10, absolutely gorgeous. But I am actually very curious to see how this compares to the new Chantecaille Sunstone Blush. This is in the shade Energy. I don't think from packaging that it looks very much, I mean, oh well, let me swatch both side by side. This one is Energy from Chantikai. Let me build it up a little bit. And then this one is Fresh Peach from Fenty. A little bit more peachiness to it for sure. Oh yeah, they're not they're not very close at all. This one has far more peachy golden sheen to it than the Chantikai does. If you can hear that breathing in the background, that is my four-year-old Ryan. I'm gonna pick this up on the same brush and kind of build it up a little bit more. This is a baked formula as well. Packaging wise, <laughs> completely cheap and not worth it. This is a joke. Price is insane for this kind of packaging. I'm gonna build this up. Already I can tell you right now, this is a little bit more subdued, a little more toned down than the Fenty. So it's a little more flattering for my skin tone. I built these up for you to really be able to see the difference between the two. The Chantecai is more flattering for my fair skin tone. The formula of the Fenty Beauty, I feel like is very similar to the Chantecai. I didn't have any difficulty building up either one of these, but this one has more of that golden peachy sheen to it, which is a little harsh on my fair skin. This has more of just a, a solid pink to it. The peachiness is a little more subdued. I feel like a little more flattering as well. Cost-wise, horrendously different here. Like, this is four grams of product for Chantecaille, and this is 4.5 with like $40 difference, especially when you take into consideration this luxury brand here has the cheapest flimsy plastic packaging. I think I would get more use out of the Chantecaille simply because it is more flattering for me and a little more toned down. This one is stunning and gorgeous, and I think with a little extra sun time, I might be able to wear it and make it a little more flattering. There are similarities here, but you really don't need both. It just depends on if you like more of this high shine from Fenty because you're definitely getting quite a bit more shine. 
as opposed to a little more toned down. I mean, the Shantikai is still shiny and like bright, but it's a little more toned down compared to Fenty Beauty. It just depends on what you want cost wise. If you want to spend this kind of money, that's on you because I definitely did or if you wanna spend this kind of money. They're both gorgeous. I would reach for either one of these, but I think I need a little more sun to make this one more flattering as opposed to, I can wear this one pretty much any time. I am gonna try this one on my eyes though. I'm gonna take this one and just kind of pick it up in a Danessa Myricks My Kit Co brush. This is a My 30. And just kind of place it here on the inner corner. Oh yeah, I think I would get far more use out of this on my lids, which I hate saying that because I definitely just want to wear it on my cheeks too, but I think this would be absolutely gorgeous just on my lids. I like them. Buffed down, it definitely looks a lot better. I like it more buffed down. I'm not going to change out my lip liner, but this is the Nabla Beyond Blurry. This is new. I've been stalking this thing forever. This is the shade Aphrodite. It's a little more red toned. I'm gonna try that gloss bomb over the top of this. I haven't worn this yet. Oh, it feels so comfortable, wow. Before I put that gloss bomb oil on top, this color is stunning. This formula feels incredible, feels amazing. I'd been stalking Nabla forever. I picked mine up off of Ulta as soon as it launched. I wanted to get more than one, but I wasn't sure about if I'd like the formula or not. I definitely like it. Now let's see how it feels over this formula. Ooh. That looks beautiful. So comfortable, so soft. I'm a fan. I think this is a hit. This is a run, don't walk situation for me. I love this lip combo. I'm looking forward to seeing this formula being permanent and in more colors. I want just a clear lip gloss oil bomb, whatever you want to call it. But I love this. This is a hit. The blush is gorgeous. I think it's a great formula. It's a very flattering formula, despite the fact that it is very shiny, very highlighty. I don't think it works for all skin tones. Like this one is the lightest shade, Fresh Peach. I definitely think you need to be more of a light, light medium, as opposed to fair. I won't reach for this over my favorite blushes. So like, I'm not missing out on anything by not having the other shades. They just, I know they won't work for me. So for me, I would pick the Chantecaille personally, just because it's a little more flattering, but this is beautiful. The formula is smooth. It feels nice on my cheeks. It doesn't feel like it's overly accentu accentuating texture. <laughs> But it's, I mean, you can see, you can see texture on my cheek, but it's not that bad. It is a very comfortable, nice formula. But that's it for me today. I think this is an absolutely adorable little launch from Fenty. I think it's cute. I could definitely make use out of the highlighty blush here. But like I said, it's not unique. There are plenty of other blushes out there that do the exact same thing and look the same. Everything on my face is linked down below. If you click on those links, they are affiliated. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. Do something for yourself today because you are worth it.